It's an unforgettable presentation for a layer cake, and it's easier to do than you might think. In this video, I'll show you how to make the meringue, sculpt it into spikes, and torch it for a caramelized toasted marshmallow finish. This meringue icing is similar to a classic boiled white icing. We're just taking it to new heights. So in my bowl of my stand mixer, I'm going to add my egg whites and my sugar. Whisk this together to combine. I'm going to place the bowl over a pot of simmering water and whisk it until all of the sugar is melted. It'll take about three to four minutes. You can test to see if the sugar is melted just by rubbing a bit of the mixture between your fingertips. You shouldn't feel any granules of sugar. Okay, we're ready to go. So I'm gonna place my bowl into my stand mixer with the whisk attachment. I'm going to beat this on low speed until it thickens up and turns opaque. It'll take about four minutes. Now that the egg whites are opaque and slightly thickened, I'm going to raise the speed up to medium and continue beating until I get soft peaks that flop over when I raise the beater. This will take about five to seven minutes. Okay, now that my egg whites are at nice soft peaks, I'm gonna turn the speed up to high and continue beating until I get really glossy meringue with medium firm peaks that just curl a bit at the tip, another four minutes or so. Okay, this looks perfect. The meringue is nice and stiff with nice firm tips that just curl a bit. So now that my meringue is ready, it's time to work quickly. I have my layer cake here. I'm just gonna use an offset spatula to spread the meringue all over the cake. Now don't worry about getting it too even or perfect at this point. You don't wanna overwork the meringue. Okay, now for the fun part. I'm gonna sculpt the meringue into spikes. If you dip your finger into a bit of the meringue before you start, it'll make it easier to pull. So just use your fingertips, pull the meringue into peaks and spikes all over the cake. If there's an area of your cake that starts to show, you can just patch it up with a bit more meringue. Okay, this is looking pretty good, so I'm just gonna wash my hands and grab my torch. Now, by the way, I had placed strips of wax paper below the cake to protect my cake stand to keep it from getting messy, so I wanna be sure to remove those before I pull out the torch. Okay, so I have here a standard kitchen butane torch. It's the same kind of torch you would use to caramelize a creme brulee. I'm just gonna undo the safety, ignite the flame, lock it into place, and I'm gonna run the flame all over the cake about two to three inches from the surface. So just keep going, turning your stand as you need until everything is nice and toasty.